all my life. So <laughs> this, uh, my home is everybody's vacation spot. Actually, kind of four years ago, we started, I, I started um, diving with the Aruba Reef Care Foundation. Um, and in that, they taught me how to do the lionfish hunting. That's the first, first time I did it. So um, um, I know um, um, the other guys from the, from the Aruba Lionfish, now Aruba Lionfish. They're also divers that I knew. I said, you know, hey guys, come, this is so cool. <laughs> so I introduced them to the lionfish hunting. And uh, after a while, we decided that um, because Aruba, Lion, um, Aruba Reef Care Foundation does so much. So we said, you know, we want to take the lionfish part out and we do it for them. So I said, okay, go ahead. And that's how uh, Aruba Lionfish Initiative um, started. Um, a year ago, we formalized it. So we are a foundation right now. And um, that's, um, yeah, that's what we do right now. What's happening is um, we are also under the, um, under the, the infestation of the, Aruba, of the lionfish. Um, the thing is, you don't see them. And that is for many people, they don't know why we're doing it because it's not a threat that you see. It's not, not like uh, the dogs walking around and they have no owners. It's just in the sea. And um, we are working also, our, what we do is we, we look at other, other um, islands, what they are doing for, for example, the Bahamas, Belize, in Mexico, what they're doing because they, they have, they, they found them earlier. So we are kind of mimicking what they're doing um, in our foundation. So we want to try also with them all, um, be, uh, all together, come to one way of doing, doing it, how to remove the lionfish, what to do with the lionfish afterwards, because the lionfish is also a, a very healthy fish to eat. It's not, uh, it's not poisonous, it's venom venomous, so many people think, oh, I eat it, I die. Well, you won't be dying anytime soon. <laughs> and um, also how to market it, because we need more people to go into the water and take them out. In Aruba, it's like right now that um, we have um, lots of fishermen. That's their livelihood, go out and fish. And uh, because of the lionfish, it's less also less fish because they eat them all when they're small so they don't get to be big and get to uh, get caught by the the fishermen and um and also um they are damaging the reef so what we're trying is also by introducing the lionfish as food for the restaurants also to encourage then more people to go catch them and sell it so bring it in the in our in our business system let's put it that way um, they up to now it's going good. We have more people starting diving or just people calling us up. Hey, I have five kilos here. Can you, you know, pick it up? We buy them. And um, we are having more restaurants that they want to put it, put it on their menus. The only problem right now is we don't have, the supply is much less than the demand right now for us. So we need more people in the water. <laughs> but that's a, I mean, that's a good, good problem to have right now. And uh, we're also encouraging the, our f local fishermen themselves. We are working, um, looking in, we already did already uh, make, uh, we make two wa um, deep water traps. They are uh, modeled from the NOAA. And we tried them out here. One of them we lost, it went too deep. As just as a tech diver, you can go and look for it. And the other one, it got stolen, we think. <laughs> And, um, but we want we have, um, we have a big company that wants to, to do it for us. And, um, so that we can take those deep water traps and give it to the local fishermen. They go to their spots where they know that there's fish and there might be more lionfish and they drop it after a month, pick it back up and, um, they can sell it in. So then it becomes also part of their business on what they're selling. So it's a big whole lot of work that we're doing. <laughs> Well, when we started, when we started doing this, we already saw that there's a less fish of the reef fish. We see less of certain species. And um, right now we are going to this, um, like for example, Mango Halto all the time. We have divers all the time around there. We have at Savaneta all the time. And in those areas, we are finding less and less lionfish, meaning our efforts, it's, it, it, we're doing good. And we see more fishes that we haven't been seeing before. We see more of them. Um, the only problem we have right now is because as divers, um, and now we just got a boat, thank God, 
because just uh, stepping into the water doing shore dives, you cannot go everywhere. And um, that is uh, it. We cannot do the whole around the whole island. We cannot go to the north side every day because in the north side, um, it's only a certain um, time in the year that you can go into the water there because then after that, it's not safe anymore to do that. So we know that we have crazy people doing that, locals. They do, they go and do that in, yeah, we just say that they're crazy, but they come with big, huge lionfish. And, um, but we don't have many people doing that because it is a little bit unsafe. So we want to, thank God now we have a boat that we can go to more places on the south side that we, you cannot go just by swimming out and swimming in. And um, that helps because right now the places that we are going regularly, we are actually um, managing it, managing the population of the lionfish. So hopefully we, with the boat we can get more places and hopefully when we get a bigger boat, sophisticated one, we can go to the north side. <laughs> Uh, what we do here is because um, spear fishing, spear fishing in Aruba is illegal. To use a spear gun is illegal, and um, because uh, we use a Hawaiian sling, um, it is permitted. They do. If the coast guard finds you with the Hawaiian sling, you either have only lionfish or you have no fish. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Um, what we want to do is we we are already doing a Aruba Lionfish Initiative um, hunting certification because by having a spear in your hand, it's still a weapon. And um, every time you miss, you can hit the coral and break that coral off. And that is like 60 years of coral. So we wanna make people aware that it's not only about hunting the lionfish, it's also knowing why you're hunting the lionfish, what the problem is with it, and what the, the good and the bad and the ugly is about the lionfish itself and also why you won't be damaging a, a coral because that's not our, our, what we want to be doing either. Um, so to make people more responsible. And um, with that, we're also in, um, we're thinking on pushing it in as a PADI certification because right now PADI has a lionfish tracker, but um, it's not specified what, what it is. So we are, um, I, um, I spoke with the people in, um, in the Cayman Islands, they did it already. So they they also have something like Alfi, and they did a they also were doing their own certification for the divers, and that is now a PADI certification. So that is what we're going for for next year, because we want to have more people diving and doing lionfish hunting, but responsible. First of all, we're open for any donations. <laughs> Whatever you want to give us, we're okay with it. We don't only need money. For example, we have people coming in and they said, oh, I, you know, they buy a zookeeper for us and they gave, they donate the zookeeper. Um, they buy whatever, they, a snorkel set and they gave us a snorkel set. We are open for anything um, that has, that can help us through, um, to help the foundation with its work. And also what we ask from people is when you go to a restaurant, just, if you don't see it on the menu, just, just play dumb and say, hey, do you guys serve lionfish? because that will also encourage the restaurant owners to start thinking towards the lionfish instead of the grouper or all the fishes that are right now in our endangered species list. By last year it was around 2000 something and right now we're going up to 100 already. For so this year? Yes. So um, um, it is getting more and more difficult because as I told you, we are going this, um, all the time to the same places, the same spots, and we managed that already. So now what we're doing is because now we just got a boat for like a month ago, and we are going to more places. And now they're going more places, we can find more, um, but we don't, we're not getting the big, big ones anymore. So I think the big ones are already going deep because the lionfish is a very adaptive fish. I remember last year it was, um, there was a derby here and I was doing the dissections and everything and the myth was, or they said before, that um, a lionfish needs to be a certain length for it to be fertile, for it to start having, you know, um, um, having their eggs done. And I found like a fish like this big, it was already ready to spawn. And that was from the north side. and. Um, that means that the lionfish adapts its, itself to its environment and what's happening. So 
more lionfish get gets to be taken out of the water and they go into the panic mode we need to lay more eggs so they start earlier and it, it was also said that the lionfish was only for they would uh, better be in warm waters. That's also not the case anymore because they find find them off the coast of uh, New York. So go figure. That's not that's not warm at all. <laughs> and um, they're also going deep. Um, in Curacao, it was actually in Bonaire, Claim Bonaire. That's a little island there. Uh, they they were doing a, a scientific study over there, and they brought over the little submarine from Curacao over there. And um, they were, I think it was a thousand, uh, a thousand feet. It was there, and um, they found, they saw lionfish swimming around, and that was supposed not to be the case. So we know that the lionfish is adapting themselves. So it, it gets even, it's a trickier to, to catch them. The lionfish you cannot, we cannot eliminate ever. When when you get them at around the island or where you are. They're already there. They're never gonna go away. Uh, what we want to do is we want to manage the population because um, it's either live with them or just leave them there and let them let them do all the damage that they can do. Uh, so what we're doing is to just um, to uh, manage the population of the lionfish and also put it um, making a new fisheries of it to start introducing it. So also instead of catching the fish and throw it out and it's a perfectly very healthy fish high in omega-3 and doesn't have any more fat and anything so um, why not so instead of keeping keep eating the grouper that we don't have a lot anymore of them eat the lionfish we will never fish them all we will never it it would be very even more it's better than everybody starts eat, starts eating the lionfish and the thing is the lionfish is a very um, easy fish to cook and it's a very light uh, tasting fish, so it's very delicious and you do, can do everything with it. Because the thing is, lionfish actually normally they go when they're um, closer to the, to the reefs, there are um, fish that are gonna be in and around the reef. They're not gonna be on an open, open area. And as divers, we can only go till 40 so 40 meters so after that we cannot go there you need to be a tech diver for that and um because they're going deeper we need a way to go deeper with them so the deep um the deep um lionfish trap was an idea from that they got in from the noah they pulled out the the design so everybody could use it and try it out and let them know what's happening and how they can uh, you know make it better or not you know so we try them and um but right now, um, the one that, yeah, we lost two of them. So we have, we have to start building a new one. It's around here for us. It's around $200 to make. And, um, so we are hoping that we will have the fishermen also doing that. So then we will have, our plan is to have, we will have snorkelers as a snorkel. You can go and uh, around the little reef and you see one, you can hunt one. Um, from um, then we will have the the free divers. We also have free divers in the Aruba Lionfish Initiative. So they also go they uh, go and they free dive and they go hunt lionfish. And after that, it's deeper. We have the divers, and deeper than 40, then we will have the deep water traps. So we will have a, a big area that we are managing because we need to manage. It's a big area around the whole island that we need to, to we want to manage. Yeah, what happened is um, they say the one that they actually accept more is that it happened. It started in in, uh, in Florida. Uh, one person was um, it's, it's being the, the in the fish tree. They put it in the aquarium. Very nice little fish that was in 1986 is supposed to be happening because that's when they, they first saw them. Um, and um, brought in the little lionfish, very cute, because they're very nice and beautiful on the water. When they're hovering around, they look like butterflies. And in the same aquarium, he put his thousands of dollars worth of other fish, and he went to sleep. And then the next morning, he came back, and there was only one lionfish. And the few lionfish, they're very, very fat and happy, and like burping, and like no other fish. <laughs> 
So being a fish lover, they didn't want to kill them. So what they did is it just threw it in the ocean. And that's when it started. So the infestation started right away. And up to now, it's all over in the Caribbean, the, the uh, lower, um, the higher Antilles and the lower, lesser Antilles. It's in front of the coast of um, Brazil. It's fully in the Gulf of Mexico, off the coast also from um, New York. So it went very, very, very quick. And because it's a fish actually that comes out of the, around in the Red Sea over there. And over there, they have predators. In our waters, they don't because no fish knows it and because they sting uh, and the sting is very very painful never been stung before <laughs> and um the fish won't eat them and what was happening is um it started in bahamas that they said no um we have the 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 um, um sharks eating them in their natural habitat the sharks would would be eating them and the eels and big groupers but over here, what happened is the divers, the, the one that the, uh, you go dive with the sharks, and what the divers were doing is um, feeding the sharks with a dead lionfish. So what started happening when sharks started associating divers with, with food, and that was not such a good thing to do, because here also some divers did it. We, can, we know that because also they did it with the eels, and they thought maybe that's the way to encourage the eel and the shark to start eating them here. And, but what happens is, is that the eel will, oh, diver, food, and they come after you. So that's why we also discourage that, don't do that. It need the, it's just nature needs to take its course. So until nature fixes this, then we, we are the predators. Because the lionfish, every four, three to four days, the female will, will lay 20,000 eggs. And um, um, per sec, they have around 10 and it goes up, it floats, it goes with the current. So, um, and then it will be fertilized by the males. And even the egg sac, they found out that um, the birds coming in won't eat it when they're floating because it has a chemical or something in it that they don't like. So then that 20,000, when they hatch, they go down and that's a new big family of 20,000 lionfish and so on it goes. So for example, the ones that we have here in, in Aruba, the ones that are coming in from, for example, in San Nicolas, that's the, the, the point, uh, the, uh, they, they are coming, for example, from Curacao floating in. And, and the ones that hatch, that um, delay eggs or the eggs starts floating from, from San Nicolas, they come down here and they go down here and that, that's how it goes. And because of the currents, it's the sea, it will go faster. So that is why the infestation is went so quickly and um, it will never end. <laughs> yes, of course, we have on our um, we have our Facebook page. It's Aruba Lionfish Initiative. You see our colorful fish. Um, we our website is in the making. So when it's done, you can do the certification, the, the written part. You can do it online and then the dive itself. When you get in, you can do it with us. Or we will have our dive partners, for example, Aqua Windies or Jet or Happy Divers. We, we are working with all of them, so they do the, the diving itself. And then when you're certified, you can dive either, you can keep diving with them or you can come and dive with the Aruba Lionfish Initiative. What we do is we provide, um, we provide tanks for our divers because we know diving is expensive. And we also provide spears, the Hawaiian sling. We are working with, um, with the lion, uh, lionators. Um, and um, we tested the first lionators actually out for the, for the owner. And now we are the distributors in, uh, in the Caribbean for him. And um, we also have the zookeeper. So if you're, you just need your gear and you can come and hunt with us. And um, so I, we get always messages through Facebook, I'm coming and they're planning their vacation from this week to next, whatever week and uh, what can I do? So then we plan that in so that they can also dive with us whenever they want to or whenever we go out because we always have group of divers going out. Yeah, we're pretty much a very young um, foundation. We need money. <laughs> Now that's our biggest struggle, the money, because we are supporting also divers. 
um, by um, having more equipment and encouraging people to get the certification done and uh, doing our shirts and everything. And the thing is, we are we support our local businesses, so we don't go to print our shirts in Japan or in China. It, it's gonna be a whole lot cheaper, but we wanna support our local people, so that's why we do everything on Aruba itself. And that all, always also is gonna be costing a little bit more. But we don't regret that because we wanna we want to be an example for everybody else on the island to use our own things that we have here to, to, to support local business. So anything that people can give us, we're very, 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 very happy to get it. If it's money, if it's a spear, if it's a, if it's a, a, a fin, we don't mind. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.